Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a NEMNG, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, post hoc analysis for the Friedman test. Um, I'm not going to explain uh, how why to use this test or if you should be using it at all, I'm just going to show you how it can be done uh, using uh, R, or specifically R Studio. Uh, in its essence, it's using a studentized uh, range distribution, and according to Nemanji, um, it was actually uh, already developed to account for family-wise error rates, so we don't actually need to do any adjustments, uh, although you could if you really wanted to. Just to show you um, my packages, Control enter uh, stats, graphics, and a few others, and base are by default installed. And there are two different ways. You can either use the PMCMR option or you can use the NSM3 package. Um, I'll first do this one and I'll be needing some data for that. So my data and I'll show you what that data looks like. It's just all seven variables that I'm interested in on a range of one till five each. And they were all about a teacher. Now, there are no missing values here, so you should remove those um, if you do. And uh, as you might notice, I'm interested in all these seven. So if you have a subset that you need, so first create then the subset and store that as a separate data. Okay, then uh, we need to convert actually that into a matrix, which can be done with data.matrix. And that simply converts the same data into a matrix format. Then, of course, we'll be needing that package, uh, all capitals, P, M, C, M, R. Um, if you don't have it, uh, then use this line to actually install it. And after you've installed it, or if you have already installed it, use the library command to actually load it in. Then, to perform the test itself, postdoc, Friedman, Nemenji test, uh, my matrix, that was the data. Uh, not using any adjustments and simply hit console enter and you nicely get the results in a cross table so for example according to this table uh, the teacher availability was significantly ranked different than the teacher's participation now you can also use the NSM3 uh, package uh, again the same data so I'm not gonna do these two again uh, however, you will need that NSM3 package. For me, I had to install a uh, scales, tibble, and uh, then NSM3. Not sure if that will work for you. Uh, perhaps you can only try this one. Uh, if that doesn't work, try to add these first. Then, of course, load that package in. So, a library. Um, that takes a little while, so hopefully it gets done soon. And then in the end, you actually want to run this one once it's done. The small uh, letter P and then WNMT, my matrix, and make sure you set the method to asymptotic. Control Enter, and hopefully we get similar results. And just waiting a little while before it's finally done running. And we should get in our output a nice overview again. Of course, my computer is a little bit slow, and I really don't like editing videos, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Bear with me just a little bit longer. And it's taking a lot longer than the, the other package we had, the PMCMR, but okay, we'll give it a little bit more time. After all, it's performing quite a lot of tests. And this is getting ridiculous. And still waiting. Still waiting. And waiting. Perhaps I should put a potato at the end of this video. Wow, we're waiting for more than a minute now. Whew. Yes, uh, finally, there we are. Uh, so we have really a lot of uh, output here. And it actually treatments one and two. And then you actually have to look up every time the what treatment one was and what column two was. So that's a bit of an annoyance with this method. 
but okay the end result should be similar or uh, the same so the 79A2 and here we also have 7984 so there's a small difference here uh, but not really noticeable uh, 9715 could be due to rounding errors in 9715.0026, uh, which is the 0 0.0026. So as you can see, uh, very small differences. Okay, that's it.